Welcome back to Zone of the Enders. All right, whoever is asking for Yakuza 4, I'm recording it. All right, um, I'll batch record. It's That's how it's gonna be. You, Norman, Whoops. Same for Baram. <laughs> oh crap! It starts now, Dingo. Hey, Anubis was swallowed up. The real power of Almon is not to attack the surface using compressed space. What? The real power is from energy constriction. It makes the best use of Metatron's superiority. Space compression. That energy will swallow the entire solar system. That's serious. <laughs> Please, stop it now. People on Earth always do what is convenient for them. Please. Then promise me, if I stop this, Earth will never meddle with Mars again, ever. We have our own free will. Yep, there's still an Earth free and Mars, Mars conflicts. I understand. I'll definitely make it happen. Tell this to the obstinate ones. If they don't understand it, next time I will battle with them. I swear. Trust me. Dingo. Ken, I got another job. What are you going to do? If I die, please revive me again. You're not going to die. Wait in the ship. I'll be back soon. Oh, and right now, have you noticed? My power? I am divine. Well, not really divine, I'm just much faster. Because I don't really need to care about anything else than zipping in front of the enemy and taking them out. This feels like a last form. Well, technically it is. I can't really explain what happened. I really can't explain what happened. I really can't explain what happened. It's just now I'm that godlike. <laughs> um, there's really nothing else to explain here. I'm just that good. <laughs> but yes, I guess this is an effect of the Metro of the Metatron. And Leo's here, just wondering what the hell. I'm sorry if I'm a bit unfocused, it's just, you know, doing multiple things at the same time, but... Wow! This is PS2, consider this PlayStation 2's extent, graphical-wise. Just beautiful. Alman chose me! By fusing Anubis, Alman can become real. Look, the perfect fusion of Metatron, the destruction to end all! And this is the final battle! Yeah, I'm kind of spoiling it for you guys, but this is the final battle. This is pure chaos. Um, you will zip across the screen as fast as you can, as fast as your eye can see, you know? Um, this is quite amazing, I like this shit. Mostly because you're both zipping across the screen like crazy maniacs. I mean, look at this speed! This is some Dragon Ball Z shit! But basically, I don't feel that threatened by this guy at this point. Um, he, I have zero shift. And I have a blade. So, uh, and my lasers are back, as you've noticed. Jehuti performs some kind of recovery. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, he took the energy that I earned from defeating Anubis. Thus, I'm somewhat complete. Somewhat complete. Um, so this is basically Jehuti ultimate form. You give me blades, you give me lasers, you give me zero shift, and this is final boss Jehuti. And it, frankly, it's amazing. Uh, I like this form. It's a bit cheap because you can just 
disappear and reappear right next to the guy and just slash him. Um, and also you do not have any other sub weapons. Zero shift is all you need. And if you finish the game, you can play as this version of Jehuti uh, throughout the whole game. For the lulz. <laughs> Um, but let me tell you, he's quite, quite powerful, and I might, if you guys are still interested in the, in the extras, um, because I'm definitely keeping a save file for it, and I want to get on to Yakuza 4, because I've been waiting a year for it, and, uh, I'm really psyched up to play the game at the same time as you guys are, uh, and I'm doing this blind, unlike Yakuza 3, I didn't play half of the Japanese version, I didn't even order the Japanese version because I was finishing the US version of number 3 and I'm quite psyched up for number 4. Uh, oh, I already saw the install screen so I'm, I'm really psyched up to play this game. And I need the stress relief! So, um, yeah. If you guys really want the extra, give me a shout out, give me a, a message. If not, I'll put it on pending, or I'll put the extras on pending, like Muramasa, because I haven't, you know, I haven't seen that much people interested in there. Not as much as Yakuza, so um, it's gonna be put for later on, just like another PS2 LP I wanted to do of a game that hasn't been touched by much. But um, what else? This guy's nearly dead. Again, this is quite simple. Just dash in front of him and, you know, slash his face off. That's how you defeat the final fort of, Anub of Anubis. On my last mission, you sacrificed us. Understand? You killed my comrades. <laughs> so what? Scum died so ungracefully. I wanted to see it with my own eyes. They're waiting for you now. Oh yeah, you get to deliver the final blow. At this point, I'm it's like, die! <laughs> I hate you, Anubis. Game over.
destroyed. All. party. Uh. Ada? Leo. I used Anubis. If Jehuti and Anubis were even, the ignition power would be even too. That thing is better suited for that role. Did I disobey orders? Never mind, Ada. What? It's okay. Use power for the right things. At least, for the things that you believe in. <laughs> so who's second hand? <laughs> Your father. This time, make my body normal. Don't you like it as it is? <sighs> That's way too big. You got it. I trust you. The end, or is it? Well, Jehuti is still alive. So, this was Zona of the Enders, the second runner. 
And Rémi Leboeuf. Wow, that's a Canadian name. Or French. Um, but yeah, this still remains one of my favorite PlayStation 2 game. Or game of all time. Um, well, one of my favorite games of all time, you know? I don't know what else I could put next to it. 10,000 bullets, yeah. Yeah, 10,000 bullets earns it. And it's mostly because of the boss design, the intricate action that you have to pull off. It's, it flows! It all flows well, you know? It's beautiful work, and it's a clear definition of game sequel improving upon, you know, the first one. Because if you wanna if you wanna compare this to Zone of the Enders one, this drives Zone of the Ender <laughs> Zone of the Enders one into the mud, and then chucks it aside like a bad school project. And that's just the second iteration. I mean, all you've seen is PlayStation 2 graphics. It's been pushing the console to its limit, a bit like what uh, Metal Gear Solid 3 did, and. This is what I like with Kojima. I respect Hideo Kojima Studio for this kind of devote, uh, devotion to gameplay improvement and taking their time to do a good game. I still like Metal Gear Solid 4. I want to play Metal Gear Peace Walker because Portable, Portable Op was okay. You know, it was a good Metal Gear for PSP. Uh, Acid was an acid trip. I'd like to take you all on that acid trip, just for the heck of it, but uh, I don't know if if I get if I ever get the funds or the free time after Yakuza 4, then I have to do another Kojima tribute because that studio, Studio Kojima, does a lot of work and I respect their devotion to video games. That and Suda51. Suda51 gets a thumbs up. Shout out to Suda51, my homie, No More Heroes, Killer7, yeah! <laughs> that, that, that was kind of bad. I apologize for that. <laughs> and uh, I shall continue by saying, do do do, brothers. Sorry, better de Chappelle here. But um, there are some extras for this game secret, secret battles, secret missions. Uh, the EX missions are secret battles that you can encounter to earn the secret battles in two-player mode or the secret battle character in two-player mode. And uh, the reason why I would show it if you guys request it is that uh, it's quite nifty introduction-wise. Very smartly placed battles. I want I'm definitely copying that. If you if you hear about me making a game, I'm copying that kind of concept because it's fucking smart, and I approve. <laughs> nah, I respect that. I, I love practically everything about this game, even though the battles, some of the battles are cheap. Fuck you, Viola. Screw you, Anubis. They they impose difficulty on this game that's well needed, you know. And that's cool. That is quite cool. I can only imagine what would happen if there was a Zone of the Enders tree. This is why I want Metal Gear to be on hold. I don't want it to end, even though it's practically over. But um, just put Metal Gear on hold and work on another Zone of the Enders, or even bring Snatcher here. You know, show us show the new generation some Snatcher, because, you know, some people forgot all about Snatcher. Like that fucking IGN reviewer that doesn't know how to play his fucking game or how to hold on R2 button. Punk ass. You guys could check out the video I did on the review. Fucking noob. But, uh... This still remains a milestone for PS2 game. That, I guess I could add God of War in there. Killzone 1 mostly because of the story aspect it had back then for a shooter with a story that was miraculous back then. Um, and that was way before uh, Call of Duty, you know? What else? Ico, Shadow of the Colossus, those are amazing projects. I 
I'm still remembering, the only thing I'm remembering so far are Japanese projects, but I'm sure America, um, or us on the West Coast had, uh, you know, top tier projects as well. I just can't really remember them. Sorry, really sorry, but, uh, Modern Warfare Black Ops, yeah, PlayStation 3. <laughs> Killzone Tree, yeah, it's been fixed. I'll do a review on it eventually, or a little segment. Marvel vs. Capcom. I need to do a... Oh, uh, C! C what? Oh, well. You know what? It's a Kojima game. I'll let it slide. I will let it slide. And you can save data to see more awesome shit. So... I'm signing out, got to play Yakuza 4, got to record it, completely blind, and, uh, oh, yeah, remember what I usually do, I let you guys on the intro, and you guys will kind of see and understand why I didn't show you the intro at the beginning, because it spoils everything, but it's a beautiful fucking intro, intro slash trailer. Later. Since the dawn of history, human beings have realized various forms of energy. Civilizations have progressed with them. So where does such energy like Metatron lead our civilization? Position for landing. MR-1422, Dingo Egret, unlocked. 20 to touchdown. <laughs> That's unusual. What is? Indications of Metatron. It's way too shallow. The Metatron is not very deep. And it's very strong. It wasn't here last time I came. What the hell is that? An orbital frame. My limb is damaged. Damn Barom. Instructions? But in the last half year, the situation on Mars has changed drastically. Now, Balram's war potential is very strong. The Space Force put up a stubborn resistance, but without a major war, Mars was occupied by Balram in a flash. Alman is already getting ready. Only those two machines can make Alman move or stop. This frame, don't you? Maybe. Even if you're bar on, that's too rough. It sure is. Who's the commander? Is that you, Viola? to blow up at the core of Almon. In case of need, Ada will start up the explosion system automatically. It's programmed to do so. Ada, please answer my question. You're going to Almon, aren't you? So what if I am? Do you know Ada intends to self-destruct Jahuti on Almon? <laughs> Ada, please look after me.
doing on this ship anyway? <laughs> if anything happens to my pals at Callisto, you'll pay. I didn't kill them. I don't believe you. I've been dead once already. I'll bring it to an end myself. No! <laughs> Look, the perfect fusion of Metatron! The destruction to end all! <laughs> The machine supplements your heart and lungs. That power comes from Jehudi. You will die if you leave Jehudi. The performance of these two bodies is even. But to match Anubis, Jehudi lacks one thing. A program to bring out the full performance of Jehudi. That depends on the skill of the runner. Get out of my way! Project Almond's purpose is not domination, destruction. He's here. It is Anubis. You must, even if I don't make it. Listen, please, be sure to stop Almond. Anubis! <laughs> chose me. The universe and human subconscious are willing their own end! Look, this is the will of Metatron! Do you realize how many of my comrades died back there? One of the units for Project Almon. We're pals now, aren't we? Battle over. Anubis wins. You have come back under my command. You have done well. <laughs>